Dear Susan, I know you're really busy and that you get a lot of emails, so this will only take 60 seconds to read. Say who you are, one or two lines that establish credibility. I'm a massive dog lover and I've been reading your amazing books about how to love dogs for five years now. Thank you for all the amazing work that you've put out there. It seriously changed my life. Ask a very specific question. I'm doing research for my dog studies paper and I was wondering what's your favorite breed of dogs? I totally understand if you're too busy to respond, but but even a one or two line reply would really make my day. All the best, Shrek. The other day I was reading The Third Door by Alex Benaya, and in the book he basically tried to meet and interview world's most successful people, like Bill Gates, and ask them questions about their lives. How is this relevant? Well, during one chapter he told a story about how he succeeded getting an interview with Tim Ferriss by annoying the crap out of him. And in that chapter Alex basically explained this cold email template that he had learned from Tim Ferriss. So that's where I yoinked it from. A cold email basically means that the person you're sending it to doesn't know who you are or what the hell you're trying to achieve from sending that email. So that's why you need to tell him. And apart from the template I showed in the beginning of the video, here are five tips on writing better cold emails. But before we get to that, you've probably experienced this, that when you want to send a message to someone who you haven't spoken to in a long time, it's so hard to start that conversation. Well, that's where the sponsor of this portion of the video comes in. It's Dex. Dex is a personal relationship manager that makes it easy to stay in touch and remember important details about people you care about. It has a built-in feature that can start a conversation for you with the help of AI. There's also a browser extension that lets you reply to messages, for example on LinkedIn, with one click, and that's just scratching the surface of what it can do. Check out Dex in the description. Moving on, here are five tips on writing better cold emails. One, do a lot of research about the person you're sending it to, and I'm talking serious investigation, not just looking up their MySpace profile. The best thing that you can do is talk in their language. Two, don't waste time. Don't be that YouTuber that has seven minutes of intro asking you to subscribe and then three minutes of actual content, within your email of course. Tell them who you are, what you want, why you want it, and bounce. Three, try to find something common between you and the person you're sending the email to. People bond over common interests, ambition, and vulnerability a lot more than small talk. 4. Don't use fancy language. Make it sound like a human wrote this, as hard as it may be these days. 5. It's about them, not about you. Spend time talking about what they've done, not about what you need, because no one cares. Don't ask for big things. It's unlikely that a person who doesn't know you and you haven't met before will give you $300 randomly or mentor you for the next 3 years. It's even better if you write your cold email by not expecting anything in return. Just send a compliment or something that that person has done for you that you appreciate. Ali Abdal talks about this quite a lot and it's the idea that putting good energy into the world without expecting anything in return will actually come back to you tenfold. I hope this was helpful to someone out there and I'll see you in the next one.